How big of a risk is obesity for developing type 2 diabetes? Well, according to one study, it may be the biggest risk of all. I'm Dr. Brett Schur, the medical director at dietdoctor.com, and I want to bring your attention to a study that Francisca Spritzler recently wrote an article about at dietdoctor.com. It was a study that was um, a case cohort study, so it's an observational study, not a randomized trial, doesn't prove anything, but it suggests that the association between being obese and developing type 2 diabetes is stronger than the association of certain genetic predispositions and stronger than the association of a favorable lifestyle. So this is interesting because we sort of think of um, diabetes as being more related to poor lifestyle, poor diet, uh, poor exercise with a genetic predisposition, and then the weight is sort of a, a byproduct of that. I think that's sort of a, a, a common belief in teaching and, and it's something that I believe as well. So when I see a study like this that says obesity is the strongest predictor, it makes me take notice. So. Um, in fact, the actual numbers, if just the effect of obesity on developing type 2 diabetes was 5.8, a risk factor, a risk ratio of 5.8, whereas with just the high genetic risk alone was 2, so still an increased risk, and unfavorable lifestyle was only 1.1, which was pretty low. Now, one thing is also, how are they going to define favorable lifestyle, right? I mean, in, in a traditional post like this, it's going to be the, the, AD, this, the previous ADA high-carb diet is going to be the the favorable lifestyle. So that's not a surprise. Maybe, um, I would think the more you follow that favorable lifestyle, maybe the higher risk you are. But the other problems when interpreting a study like this is, you know, it doesn't measure for insulin resistance. It, diabetes is a binary measure. You either have it or you don't, but in reality, that's not how life works, right? You have, you have insulin resistance and hyperinsulinemia long before you develop type two diabetes. So I'd like to see that relationship as well. So my guess is the people who were obese probably had that metabolic syndrome, um, the hyperinsulinemia, and those were the ones that were more predisposed to developing type 2 diabetes. Now, we can't unpack all this from the study. So there are reactions kind of on both sides of the aisle. Some saying, yeah, obesity definitely predisposes to type 2 diabetes. And others saying, well, no, it's not diabetes. It's, I mean, it's not obesity. It's the metabolic disease. And so study like this sort of brings those clashing together. And so we do have to be careful how we interpret this. But I think, I think the take home message is clear that if you are overweight, you need to pay attention to your metabolic health, because if you're at a higher risk of developing diabetes, that means you're going to develop metabolic syndrome and hyperinsulinemia prior to developing type two diabetes. So you can diagnose that sooner, and then you can make, you can uh, put in actions in place to remedy that. I think the other take home is we have to be very careful how we interpret any study that talks about a healthy diet, especially when it talks about metabolic health, because we, as we know, people who are uh, predisposed to being insulin resistant and are eating what is supposed to be a high carb diet full of whole grains and oatmeals and lots of fruits, they, some people, many people in that situation will actually be worsening their condition rather than benefiting it. And that's why we want to promote a, a low carb and ketogenic diet for that population because studies have shown, and certainly lots of clinical experience has shown that they can thrive and do much better on those diets, reversing their metabolic disease, reversing their hyperinsulinemia, and presumably decreasing the risk of developing type 2 diabetes in the future if they haven't already. So um, you can read the post by Francisca Spritzler with a link to the article, but that's my take on it. Hopefully this helps put it, put it all into perspective. And of course, now during this time of coronavirus and COVID-19, paying attention to our metabolic health, paying attention to our weight is more important now than ever, because those are two of the most prominent risk factors for developing severe complications. So go to diet, dietdoctor.com. You'll see all our resources to get you started on your path to weight loss and to improving your metabolic health. All right. Thanks everybody. Be safe. Take care of yourself and take care of each other.